Welcome to Coastal Cooking with your host, Carmela Campbell. Coastal Cooking features delicious recipes and cooking tips from the Gulf Coast's finest chefs and restaurants. Watch as popular local chefs prepare their special dishes with natural gas. Coastal Cooking is brought to you by Pensacola Energy, provider of clean, efficient, natural gas. We are all about seafood today with Sam Seafood right here in Pensacola. And joining me is Sam Camriotas, the owner and chef, and his sous chef, Brandon Chisholm. Welcome, guys. Thank you so much. We are so happy to have you, and you have got some of your great seafood dishes, Sam, on the menu today. Tell us what you'll be preparing. We do. We've got three dishes we're going to prepare today. Our first one we're going to do is going to be a stuffed flounder. Mm. The next one we're going to do is going to be a shrimp and scallop skewers with a soy honey glaze. And our last dish that we're gonna be doing today is going to be some fish tacos, which is off of the menu at the restaurant. Oh, I bet, so popular, aren't they? Very popular, it was an addition made about a year and a half ago and it's one of our best sellers. We're yes. very happy to have it. Well, I wanna see this dish go together. Excellent. Stuffed flounder. This will be our stuffed flounder. We're gonna start off here, just chopping up some vegetables. Brandon, if you wanna get that going. Uh, we'll uh, start sauteing our vegetables and then we're gonna make the stuff that's gonna go in the flounder. Okay. Now, is this on your menu? This is not on the menu, but we do run it for a special from special? time to time. Okay. And we do try and have uh, daily and nightly features. Uh, mm -hmm. Whenever I do something like this, uh, the stuff line, I'm usually going to feature it on the weekends, though. Okay. Just get these nice and chopped. And you were telling me how versatile the stuffing can be. Very versatile. Uh, we're going to do kind of a basic stuffing today, nothing too fancy. Uh, which is going to consist of scallop, shrimp, lump crab meat, or vegetables. We've got some bell peppers that Brandon's working on right there. Mm -hmm. We're going to start off with some shallots and some garlic also. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you'll see how we put it all together. Uh, so that's going to be the gist of our stuffing. And then what's, what's really neat, though, and we're getting into the versatility of things, you can use a lot of different ingredients. If someone wanted to use uh, a couple of kind of cheeses is, is a very popular item. You can use bacon. Uh, you're really unlimited to what you want to do. Mm -hmm. uh, all you got to do is have the imagination. And of course, as always in cooking, trial and error is a very, very big yeah. thing. It so. And you all get back there in the kitchen and come up with different ideas for dishes? Every day. Um, you know, we get some things that work really well for us, but I always encourage our chefs to uh, certainly have some creativity mm -hmm. and come up with uh, some dishes on their own. Mm -hmm. You ready for these? Yes. All right. Well, you never know what's going to, you know, hit the menu and be popular. You just have to try it. A lot and let of your customers be the judge, huh? Absolutely. I always like trying new things out mm -hmm. on us. Uh, any of our customers. Or your dad. Or particularly my father. He's kind of my <laughs> guinea pig a lot of times. That's right. Well, I'm sure he uh, loves tasting all of your delicious dishes because you grew up in the restaurant. I can remember being there as a kid and I've spent many, many hours in the kitchen, mm -hmm. dish room, on the line, everywhere. Oh, no uh, well, that's it, the best way to learn the restaurant business, isn't it? From it the really was. Up. And it's uh, something I've, I've really enjoyed to this day. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna uh, prepare the flounder for the stuffing and we're gonna come right down here to the lateral line and open it up. Okay. And you can feel it hit the bone there. Mm -hmm. And then coming under it, you're gonna run right along the bone line as well. Good sharp knife helps, doesn't it? Yes, definitely wanna have a good sharp knife. Definitely want to watch out for your fingers, too. Mm -hmm. I can tell you're a pro with this, though. I've done this one or two times. How's our vegetables coming over there? Brandon, good? Almost done. Cool. If you want to go ahead and add our scallops and shrimp and crab meat to it, I toss in a little bit of butter in there as well, and we'll just kind of get that to color. So you just wanted your vegetables just to soften? We're just right. trying to soften up the vegetables a little bit, and we're going to mm -hmm. cook the... Uh, Cook the shrimp, scallops, and crab meat about halfway because it's going to continue to cook once we put it in the oven. We're just really trying to bring out the flavors of everything right now. That's all we're trying okay. to do. Oh, look so at that. Nice. That will be ready for the stuffing in mm -hmm. just a few minutes. Now, I've already uh, oiled this pan so it won't stick while it's in the oven. Okay. That's going to be a nice presentation, I can tell. It really comes out mm -hmm. very, very nice. Now for our stuffing. Is it better to make this ahead of time or does it matter? 
You know, it's so easy to do. Um, I usually do it kind of as we're doing now. Uh, okay. Now, if I was going to do it for the restaurant, I would probably prepare 10 to 15 flounder like so and make a big batch of the stuffing. And then, of yeah. course, it's always made to order. So I wouldn't try yeah. and pre-cook anything. Okay. Uh, just kind of saute the vegetables like that. Mm -hmm. That's what we're looking for. And Brandon, you have uh, been in the seafood restaurant business for yes, a little while. So Ever you are honing school. your skills, aren't you? And I can't think of a better place than with this guy yeah. and his dad. They're nice people. They have I been really enjoy working and there. Know the business. We really enjoy having Brandon on our team. He hasn't been there but a few few short months, but it feels like he's been there for years. Well, that's a compliment, Brandon. Yes, it is. It really is. So mayonnaise and eggs get whisked. It's going to be our base for it, and you just whisk it together. And you want to have a, a very nice creamy consistency. You don't want it to be too uh, too loose. Mm -hmm. You also don't want it to be too thick, though. So that's pretty much what you're looking for right there. And we're going to add just a little bit of lemon. You've got a really good remoulade sauce too. It complements seafood. We have a great in-house remoulade that we mm -hmm. make, and it's hard to name off everything that goes into it because we use a multitude of ingredients, though. But it's uh, mm -hmm. it's very good. It sure is. All right. One of my favorites. Moving right along. How are we looking there? Uh, I'm just about done. I'm going to shut this off and let it rest so Excellent. that we can stuff our flounder. Wonderful. Let's see here, I am going to add just a touch of red pepper. What is your most popular dish on the menu? Do you have one? We've got several. I think probably one of our most popular dishes we added this uh, about a year ago would be our crab cake stack. Oh. And that's a combination of uh, two miniature crab cakes, fried green tomatoes. It comes on a, a warm salad, which is a combination of bacon and baby spinach leaves. And it's oh, finished off with a wow. roll sauce. It's very popular. It's mm. uh, one of those dishes that we kind of love hate because there, there's so much that goes <laughs> so into it. And it it's it's, it's kind of difficult to cook, to be perfectly honest, but the reward when it comes out is great. Our mm -hmm. customers yeah. love it. We get more. Well, there you go. That's worth it. It's beautiful. We, we beautiful get so plating. many compliments on it. It's, it's, it's very, very popular, so we're, we're happy to do it. Uh, I would say that one mm -hmm. definitely sticks up in my mind. Uh, we have a uh, lot of uh, steaks that are on our menu. We do a, mm -hmm. a ribeye, a strip, and a filet mignon that's very popular. Yeah, we want everyone to know you're not just seafood. We don't We've just do seafood. Steaks. We have a, a very, very uh, big menu of variety. Mm -hmm. I like to think we have something for everybody. I think you do. All right, let's get this mixture going. Do. Cool. And here, okay, just drop them right in. They'll be great. Breadcrumbs, of course. Now, what type of breadcrumbs? You just use plain breadcrumbs. This is just a plain breadcrumb. Um, you could use panko breadcrumbs if you wanted mm -hmm. to, which uh, are a little bit bigger. Uh, but I've had a lot of success. These are the same breadcrumbs that I use when we do our, our crab cakes which is uh, actually very similar to how we're making this today. No, I could just eat that. <laughs> it smells really <laughs> good. <laughs> Put that over, over just some rice, I'd be happy. Right, that's perfect right there. Thank you, Brandon. Yeah. Oh, and that all gets mixed in. It smells really good. Mm -hmm. Good job on that. Thanks. Not such a creamy consistency. Of course, the breadcrumbs are going to take a little bit soak, of that. Soak that yeah. right up. And you're probably looking for a certain consistency, right, Sam? Absolutely. And you don't see, want it too wet. You can always add dry. more breadcrumbs. Right. Can't take them out. <laughs> That's a good thing to remember, Brandon, because I've done that before. <laughs> Start Do not over. take breadcrumbs out. No, once the year, they're in there, they are in there, and you mm -hmm. are committed. Yep. And this is essentially what we're looking for is that consistency right there. It's, you know, it's, you can see how it's yeah. holding together mm -hmm. real nice, but it's uh, still you, moist. Still nice yeah. and moist. Perfect. So now that we've got that done, now we're going to bring our flounder in. back over here and get that stuffed. And we have already turned on the oven, it is uh, preheated to 400, 400. degrees. Mm -hmm. Right. 
Oh, look at this. This is loaded with seafood, isn't it? I mean, you've got all different kinds in here. Yes, I'm using a, a lump crab meat that I went and got from uh, Joe Patty's this morning. Mm -hmm. uh, you can use a claw meat if you really wanted to. Uh, I like to stick with the lump. I think it's got better flavor. And uh, the presentation is mm -hmm. much nicer on it too. And then you're gonna just fold that and close it just like so. Okay. And that's what you're looking for there, excuse me. And that's ready to go in the oven. And we're gonna take it and we're gonna uh, Use some of uh, what's left from our our saute pan here. Oh, okay. We'll just oh, go, okay. Kind of baste it. Kind of baste that right there. And we're going to finish this off with just a uh, little splash of salt and pepper mixture right there. We're going to put that in the oven. It's going to cook 15 to 20 minutes, and it'll be ready towards the end of our show. Great. Well, we're going to take a commercial break right here, and when we get back, we'll have more seafood dishes for you, so stay with us. Natural gas is the clean, reliable, earth-friendly energy choice. Here's what Pensacola Energy customers have to say about using natural gas. Natural gas has been great. Um, the difference between cooking on electric and natural gas has been amazing. I really didn't think I would notice that much of a difference, but I really have. Go blue and save green with natural gas from Pensacola Energy. Visit PensacolaEnergy.com and make the switch today. Heat pumps don't pump much heat. In fact, heat from an efficient natural gas heater can be 30% warmer, and you can get up to an $800 rebate when you install one. Warming up to natural gas yet? Learn more at PensacolaEnergy.com. Natural gas homes are in demand. Here's what home builders have to say. One of the major roles of us using the tankless water heaters and gas cooktops is because of trying to utilize energy efficient features in our homes. Without reservation, our owners that have moved into a home where we use this natural gas have always been happy that we've used this and very satisfied with the product. Natural gas from Pensacola Energy, the clean, reliable, earth-friendly choice. Heating water with electricity versus natural gas can cost twice as much, and tankless natural gas water heaters can add even more savings. So don't get soaked with higher energy costs. Learn more at PensacolaEnergy.com. Cooking with natural gas is more controlled than using an electric range. But more importantly, they're less expensive to operate. Don't get burned with electric. Learn more at PensacolaEnergy.com. Sam, what's our next seafood dish? Okay, so we're gonna do some skewers. We're gonna do a combination of some scallops and a combination of shrimp. We're gonna be finishing that with a soy and honey glaze. Uh, that's also gonna have some ginger in it, a little bit of red pepper, and also a little bit of uh, lime for some citrus. Finish it off with some sesame seeds. We're gonna do it over there on the griddle. Uh, super simple recipe, also very, very good. Sounds uh, good. We already have a couple of the skewers prepared. I'm gonna do one just as a demonstration on camera real quick. Uh, we're using red and green bell peppers with purple onion. Uh, and in doing the skewers though, you can use a variety of vegetables. Uh, mm -hmm. It's really limitless to what you can do, so use your yeah. imagination and go from there. I like to but do- these are beautiful. I mean, the color is great. The presentation is very nice. The color, it's mm -hmm. very, very appealing to the eye, uh, particularly with uh, the purples and the reds in there. Tell well, us about your skewers. Uh, these are just regular wood skewers though. Uh, we do like to soak them in water uh, overnight, though, to help from burning them up, and it also will help you get the, uh, your vegetables and your shrimp and your scallops off okay. of them a lot easier as well. So that's uh, an important step to me. It is, you know, if, particularly that. if you're going to use an unopened flame, uh -huh. uh, it really helps from uh, it flaring back up on you. Mm -hmm. uh, and Brandon's going to make our uh, glaze here, if you want to go ahead and get started on that. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit of honey, uh, some soy sauce, a little bit of red pepper flakes, and some ground ginger. We're just going to heat it up. Uh, you don't have to let it get to a boil or anything. Just let it reduce just a little bit so that all those flavors infuse mm -hmm. together. Now Real Sam, simple. on this, you are skewering the shrimp through twice. Through the yes. tail and then the meatier part. Yes, you want to go through the tail and then towards where the head of the shrimp is, mm -hmm. which would be the thicker part, and that really helps it stay on there. Uh, mm -hmm. And we're lucky enough to be using the, uh, the griddle today with the flat surface, but if you're using it on a, an open flame grill, uh, you know, it will stick real well and it will come off. So you want to make sure you have it through there twice. Uh, okay. On the scallops though, you're able to get away with just going through once uh, in the middle. Right. And you can use um, any size scallop you want. If you want to use a sea scallop, which is a lot bigger. Today we are using the base scallops. And you've got two skewered on I've got two per, yes. Mm -hmm. 
Now, you leaving the tail on the shrimp. I like to leave the tail on the shrimp. Uh, it's easier when you want to go to pull it off, you can grab it by the tail. Uh, easier oh, to I eat, see. and the, uh, the presentation is also real nice on mm -hmm. that as well, I think. So once I've got them like that, I'm gonna take a little salt and pepper, not a lot, and just kind of hit everything with that. And then I've got some white and black sesame seeds that we're gonna do. And that's really more for a presentation outlook there. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're gonna go with there. I'm gonna hit it with just a little bit of lime juice, not a lot. Uh, you want to use the rest of that for your reduction? Yes, please. Excellent. And what consistency are you looking for? This the glaze to be? Or is it going to thicken a little bit? You don't want it to reduce too much. It's just going to be your glaze. Um, it'll thicken up on whatever cooking source. Oh, okay. If you really okay. want to reduce it down, uh, the longer you cook it on the low heat, the more mm -hmm. it, the thicker it will get. And we are using equal parts honey, equal parts soy, uh, about a quarter teaspoon of the red pepper, quarter teaspoon of ginger, mm -hmm. and just a little juice of lime right there. Um, and essentially that's ready to go where it's at. Uh, mm -hmm. Brandon, I'll let you take over. Thanks. So I've got a griddle real hot. I'm just going to add these right to it. Already oiled and everything. I hear that sizzle already. And Sam, you were actually doing this dish at the Seafood Festival. We are. This is going to be one of the dishes we're going to feature uh, for our seafood demonstration. We're excited about. Uh, mm -hmm. Be doing the same thing we're going to be doing on a uh, an open griddle there, I believe. Yes, so. you sure will. will. You will definitely have to soak your skewers. That's right. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> but we'll have that uh, the seafood grill set up and um, demonstrations by all the chefs. So we're Friday really night, really looking Saturday forward to that. Sunday. That'll be our our first year being down there. We're really looking forward to it. Oh, uh, it's so much fun. You're going to have a good time. I promise. We'll just let these cook for a couple of minutes on this first side, and then we'll flip them over and hit them with a little more sauce, and it'll be good to go. Because you don't want to overcook the seafood. No, right? you don't. That's Definitely. The There's no coming back from that. Yes, absolutely. Tell us about your catering that you do. We do also uh, have a catering that we run from the restaurant as well. Uh, we like to pride ourselves on doing a classic fish, fish fry, if you will. Uh, we are not limited to doing that. We also do hamburgers, hot dogs, steaks, chicken. Uh, but our typical catering job is usually your family style. We do a, a buffet. Um, we've done um, a lot over the summer and looking to always expand. Uh, it's uh, something I've been doing catering jobs since before working at the restaurant. So that's something I know very well and love to do. Great. That's great. And you also, um, of course, you're open seven days, six days We're open six, six days, days a week. We're open six Monday through away. Saturday from 11 a.m. until uh, we are closed on Sundays, but we mm -hmm. are available for private bookings at the restaurant on Sundays or any other night uh, for that fact. Very good. Something for everybody. Today, Absolutely. Right? And your steaks. We are do have out our of steaks. This world. Mm -hmm. We uh, use a certified Angus beef steak. Uh, we have the, uh, the three cuts on that that I mentioned earlier. Uh, mm -hmm. That's a very big popular item for us as well. So we're not just strictly focused on seafood. Mm -hmm. We've also incorporated some pasta dishes in the last year. Oh, good. We have a seafood Alfredo, a scampi. Uh, what else do we feature on this? Uh, the seafood scampi, the seafood alfredo, and just your fettuccine alfredo, a choice of your protein. Chicken, shrimp, scallops. Mm -hmm. Which is all made in-house. We make it to order. Oh yes, every order. These are ready to flip. I'm going to just lift my skewer and rotate them. It's going to have a good flavor with the glaze, Oh yes, isn't it? And we'll hit it with a little more nice. glaze. How will you know when the seafood is done? It will become op opaque. Uh, they have that kind of gelatinous look to it, mm -hmm. almost clear. And then you'll see right in here how it's starting to turn pink and white and the scallops are starting to turn uh, less of a cloudy and color the, the and more solid white. Starts kind of curling up. Oh, yeah. the, tail, the tail will curl up on your shrimp some and you'll look for almost a pinkish reddish color and you also uh -huh. want to feel for the firmness. Uh, as soon as you feel it firm throughout, it's ready. Mm -hmm. now, you don't want it to be too hard because then you've overcooked. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, those look great, gentlemen. We're going to take a commercial break here. Let these finish. We'll have them ready when we get back. Plus our last recipe, so stay with us. Natural gas homes are in demand. Here's what home builders have to say. The natural gas cooking as well as the fireplace and the, the uh, atmosphere that you have on a really nice, well-designed lanai, you can entertain real well. It's very comfortable. People are real homey there. And uh, we've, we find the lanai to be a real design feature along with having the natural gas to implement that. Natural gas from Pensacola Energy, the clean, reliable, earth-friendly choice. 
Heat pumps don't pump much heat. In fact, heat from an efficient natural gas heater can be 30% warmer. And you can get up to an $800 rebate when you install one. Warming up to natural gas yet? Learn more at PensacolaEnergy.com. New home buyers prefer natural gas. Here's what local home builders have to say about natural gas homes. Most people, you know, ask for natural gas. They're looking for the, they're looking for the hot water heater. They're looking for the cooking. They're looking for the convenience of the grill and never running out. And of course, the heat is much more comfortable on those cold winter days than electric heat. Natural gas from Pensacola Energy, the clean, reliable, earth-friendly choice. Natural gas dryers may cost a little more than electric ones, but they dry clothes quicker, making them cost half as much to run. So now who's getting taken to the cleaners? Learn more at PensacolaEnergy.com. Natural gas is the clean, reliable, earth-friendly energy choice. Here's what Pensacola Energy customers have to say about using natural gas. The tankless hot water heater is the biggest value that we've seen. Never running out of hot water is great. We had family in town over the holiday, and not one time did we ever run out of hot water. Go blue and save green with natural gas from Pensacola Energy. Visit PensacolaEnergy.com and make the switch today. Welcome back, and as promised, look at our finished dishes. The stuffed flounder came out looking wonderful. Uh, you can see it's got a nice crust on it right there, the mm -hmm. stuffing in the middle. And our skewers also finished up on the uh, flat top. Chef Brandon finished those. Uh, Beautiful. Finished them off with that nice glaze, which gives them that, uh, that nice, really good dark color right there, and you can see on the tails. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be delicious. Now, how do you serve the flounder? That, that particular portion right just, there is going to be enough for, in. For, <laughs> enough for two people. And what you'll probably want to do there is those, uh, those fillets where it's split, they'll kind of split off on the top there, mm -hmm. and it'll really just peel and fall right off the bone okay. like that. So that, that you'll just get a mixture of your stuff and everything to go with that as well. Oh, I can't wait. Let's hurry up and end the show so I can eat. <laughs> and first, we've got fish tacos. We're going to make our third dish, which is going to be tacos, uh, our fish tacos, which is featured on our menu as well. And we're going to start off... Um, with a citrus coleslaw, which is what goes on the tacos. Now, I've already made this today, and it's just a combination of red cabbage, regular cabbage, and we have some poblanos in there. And it's a roasted poblano. We've already roasted one here. And the dark stuff right there is the skin. And after you roast it, it'll fall right off. I'm going to take it and right there. And that stuff will actually just come right off, as you can see. And oh, then we'll take that, that and we'll slice it like so. And then you mix this right in with the, your, uh, your coleslaw there. Now, what is the purpose of roasting it? It really brings out the flavor, and it doesn't, make it, as, uh, mm -hmm. doesn't make it as crispy. And uh, poblano is great to cook with. It's, it's spicier than a uh, red bell pepper, but not quite as spicy as some mm -hmm. of the other peppers out there. And it's got, I think, personally, I think it has a lot of flavor to it. So it's not just so much as the spiciness. It's just got a lot of flavor. It mixes really well with the citrus slaw because mm -hmm. we've got lemon and lime zest in that as well. And all those flavors coming together, particularly on the taco itself, is just it's a, lot of, a lot of flavor. And mm -hmm. that's what we like flavor. And the gas flame is perfect. Yes, it is. Absolutely. You can do it on a grill or a gas flame. It just so we, That's easy. the same way we do them at the restaurant. We do them on an open fire like that. And that just mm -hmm. that, that char that it gets there, I mean, it's, it, you can certainly tell the difference for sure. Yes, you can. So on our fish tacos here, we're starting with a piece of mahi-mahi. And we're going to cut it into equal pieces as such. Mm -hmm. How many of these do you make a week? We make a imagine. lot a week. It's uh, <laughs> real popular at Sam's. One of our it? one of our more popular items mm -hmm. uh, for sure. And the way we came about doing these is we did them on a trial run, mm -hmm. and people liked them so much we put them on the menu. Now we also do a, a shrimp taco as well. And it's made with the same coleslaw, but so if we take the shrimp and we uh, we do them fried, so you have the uh, little uh, little different right there. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to pass these off. And what to, did you put on these? This is just a, a fajita seasoning. Okay. Um, there's many different ways to make mm -hmm. it there. It's uh, got a little cumin, salt, pepper, paprika, garlic, a uh, variety of different spices. You can make your own, or in the store you can also buy pre-made fajita seasoning. They're all relatively similar. Not too spicy. Again, just got a lot of the, uh, the mixtures of the flavors and everything that goes real well. 
So we've got our tacos on the griddle now, and we're gonna take, uh, we use 100% uh, flour tortillas. We're gonna take those, and we're gonna get those on the grill as well. We're gonna put a little cheese on them, melt the cheese down just a little bit. The tacos, will, uh, the fish will go inside the taco shell. We're gonna finish it off with a little bit of our spicy sauce there. And we're gonna hit it with uh, the coleslaw, and that's gonna be our fish tacos. Perfect. And the shrimp are fried. The shrimp are fried. The tacos. Oh, now, if you ever wanted to switch good. it up, though, and get you know, get we, we can do them grilled, blackened, yeah. uh, you know, any variety of that. Uh -huh. You know, we're not just limited to what our menu says. You know, there's always room to uh, to make adjustments if uh, you know yeah. someone wants something done up a different way. And doesn't your mom make the dessert? My mother is uh, our pastry chef, if you will. There you go. We have uh, all of our desserts that she makes uh, at her home and brings to us. We have uh, a key lime pie and a pecan praline pie, which is. To die for. It is to die for. <laughs> by far our most popular dessert item. Mm -hmm. We're going to flip these fish now. You'll start to see as they turn white on the outer edges, they're good to go. While you do that, Brandon, I'm going to give everyone our telephone number. If you would like to try these dishes at home, you can get the recipes by calling Pensacola Energy at 436-5050, or you can visit our website, coastalcooking.com. All right, this fish is just about done. We're going to go ahead and take it off the grill and put it on our taco shells and send it to Chef Sammy to finish them up. This looks so good. Here you are. Oh, thank you, Chef. And then in finishing, we're just gonna top them off with our citrus slaw. Now these shells do have a little bit of cheese on the bottom there. Uh, we use a mild cheddar. You're certainly not limited to that. You can mm -hmm. use any kind of blend you want. And then this is our taco sauce. We're just gonna finish it up just like oh, that. Look at that. That's a loaded taco there. Now at the restaurant, this uh, does come with chips and a house-made salsa that we make. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, some people like to get it with fries and we have our other side items as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at this. That's our finished product right there. And those are on the menu. Oh, beautiful. Look at our dishes from Sam Seafood. And those wow. are our three dishes for today. Well, Sam, tell everyone where you're located and your hours. We are located at downtown Pensacola at 420 South A Street, adjacent from Joe Patty Seafood. Mm -hmm. We're open Monday through Saturday uh, from 11 a.m. until. Uh, we have a website, samseafoodpensacola.com, if you'd like to look us up. Okay, and reservations? We do take reservations. Uh, our phone mm -hmm. number is 850-432-6626. Okay. Well, listen, everyone needs to try out some of these either at home or come and let Sam and Brandon cooking them up for you. Uh, they do a great job. And uh, we, your dad is usually there, so they meet the he's original still Sam. He's, he's, he <laughs> still comes in uh, very often. It's uh, a pleasure to work with him. We certainly enjoy it. Um, well, I know he's proud of you carrying on the, I certainly the dynasty, so. right? Well, it's a, it's a pleasure to be there. I'm, I'm very happy with our professional working relationship that well, we have. Well, you it's, are very talented, and you've got a great assistant here in your you. sous chef. Thank you, guys, Thank you for so doing much. such a great Thanks job. For having us. Appreciate it. Well, we, I can't wait to dig in. Yeah. It's going to be good. We hope you'll join us again next Sunday. We'll be back with more Coastal Cooking. This has been Coastal Cooking with your host, Carmela Campbell. Coastal Cooking is brought to you by Pensacola Energy, provider of clean, efficient, natural gas. Join us each Sunday at 6 p.m. for more Coastal Cooking.